Close your eyes and watch your breath. Each time the breath comes in, try to be with it. Each time it goes out, try to be with it. Notice where you feel the breathing. Try to keep your awareness centered right there. This gives a mind a place to be grounded. It helps you see what's going on in yourself, because this is our big problem in life, is the, the suffering that the mind creates for itself. The things of the world go up and down. It's part of their nature. But the ups and downs don't have to weigh in the mind. But we make them. We drag them in and weigh ourselves down. So if you want to see that in action, you have to watch your own breath. Give yourself a grounding so that you don't get involved in the dragging in. You begin to see it as something strange, something that's unusual, instead of just having to be the way things are. You realize you have some choice in these matters. That's what allows you to stop doing the things that are weighing yourself down. This is not to say that the world can't be very unfair and very bad. It can be. But that's the business of the world. Our business is what we're doing to add to our unnecessary suffering here. And that's something we can change. But you have to see the mind in action. To do that, you have to stay in one place for a long period of time. It's like watching a flower grow, or like watching a flower decay. But actually the process is a lot more complex than that. It's like following a TV show. If you just watch for a second or two and then leave the room and come back ten minutes later and watch for a few more seconds, you don't really know what's going on. You may have some general ideas, but they can be very wrong. So if you want to understand the whole show, you have to sit from the very beginning and watch it from the beginning to the end. In the same way with the mind. When the mind has done something, you want to stay here in the present moment until you see what the results are, so you can see the connection. So this is why it's important that the mind have a good, solid place to be grounded, so it can understand itself a lot better. And when you understand yourself, then you can see where you're causing yourself unnecessary suffering and how you can stop. And that makes all the difference in the world.